do a decluttering of my face drawer. So this here are, they're mostly blushes over here. These are highlighters and powders and a couple of bronzers. And then these back here are like face products. Um, these are my things that I don't reach for on a daily basis. I also have a couple of drawers that are more regularly reached for, but I thought I'd start here. When I decluttered, I didn't go too intensely through my blushes and things like that. So I figured I would go through and see. Um, I'm on spring break right now, but I'm kind of in a creative slump and I don't have a lot of ideas for what to do. So if you guys have any suggestions of things you'd like to see from me, I'd love to hear that in the comments below just because I'm struggling with what to film. So I haven't filmed anything recently besides this because I don't know what to film. So anyway, I'm going to start over here with the things that I know that I want to get rid of. So this right here is the Benefit Dandelion Blush. Um, this one I never use, so it's just like a very light pale pink. I think I'm going to give that to my sister. Maybe my niece can use it as like a play blush because it's really light and I've had it for forever. It's super old. It's even in like the old packaging where they separated. So I don't know. It doesn't really show up on me. So I'm going to get rid of that one. The rest of my Benefit blushes I think I'm going to keep. So I have Hervana here. I have Bella Bamba. I have Dallas and I have Rockateur, all of which I love. So I'm thinking to keep all of those. Then back here, I have some samples of things. So here I have the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. I think this one's an opal. Yep, this one's an opal. I also have this one, which is also an opal. I haven't really tried either of those out yet, so I'm going to keep those. And then I also have this Becca. This is the Shimmering Skin Perfector Poured in Opal. I need to play with these more. I've been so set on using up my Benefit ones that I haven't. And then this is the Becca Beach Tint in Watermelon Moonstone, which is actually a really pretty color. It's very, very light, but I'm going to keep that. I got these in the set, I think. And then I'm also going to keep the Beach Tint Cream. I've never really tried out this one either. This will probably be the next thing I work on for a cream blush. It's a very pretty color. I'll play with that more this summer, probably. So I'm going to keep all of that, and then this one I'm also going to try to use up pretty soon. This is the LA, or La Croix and Co. Cheeky Lip, and this really isn't that big. So I will definitely work on that next. All right, here is the Cargo Blush in Los Cabos, which is like a pretty peachy color. I haven't really worn this one, um, but it is really pretty. It's or more of a, I guess, orangey color. Um, so this one's supposed to be water resistant, too, which is kind of cool. I'm going to hang on to that. These are all tart blushes, which I really like, but they I discovered they develop hard pan pretty quickly. This one doesn't, though. So this one's Doll Face, which is like a really pale pink, which I used to love. I haven't worn it in a long time. This one's Exposed, which does have hard pan. There we go, which is a really pretty color. I'm going to keep all of my tart blushes. This one is Stellar, which I think I got in a trade. It is so dark over here, but I don't know how to better do this. And then this one is Glisten. And I also have up here in my regular drawer, this is Tipsy, which is orange. I'm going to stick that in here for now, too. All right. Next up, I have two Instain blushes. I have Houndstooth and I have Argyle. So Houndstooth is a really pretty color. This one is a more me color, which is like more of a mauve pink color. That one I'm actually going to put in my everyday drawer, I think. And then this one is Argyle, which is a light pink, which I just, I don't wear these very often. Mm, I think I'm going to get rid of that one too. I just don't wear that one. All right, next up I got Heather Silk, which is Wet n Wild color. I got because everybody talks about these blushes, which is just a really pretty color. I need to wear that one more often. That one's really pretty. I'm going to put that in my everyday blush drawer to remember to use that one. The other balm blush that I have is the... Cabana Boy, which is like a pretty mauve color. So this one I really like. This one I'm going to keep as well. All right, now I'm getting to my e.l.f. blushes, which I really should get rid of some of these because I haven't worn some of these in a very long time. So this is Blushing Rose, which is a pretty color, but I have not worn it. I haven't even worn away the e.l.f. I think I'm going to get rid of that one. This is Candid Coral, which is kind of almost like... NARS Orgasm, which I have and I'm working through. I think I'm going to get rid of all of my e.l.f. blushes, actually. Except for this one. This one's Mellow Mauve, which this one's I've worn away the e.l.f. logo on this one. And this one's just, it's very much my color. It's very neutrally. I think I'm going to keep that one. Next up, I have four more of these e.l.f. blushes. This one's in Peachy Cheeky, which, which is a peach color. This one's actually pretty. I'm going to keep this one. The next one is Passion Pink. Mmm, meh. I'm gonna get rid of that one. 
This one's more of a highlighter. This one is Pink Tastic, which I actually think I like this one. It's like a very pretty white, white pink color. You guys probably can't see anything I'm swatching, but it's fine. Um, and then this one is Rich Rose. Eh, I'm gonna get rid of that one too. Okay, all right, so that cut down that one significantly at least, so that's good. Um, then I have this blush. This one is a NYX blush in Mocha, which is pretty, um, but I never wear it. I think I'm gonna get rid of that one too. And one, the other one that I want to get rid of because I never wear it is this Maybelline Master Highlight by Face Studio Highlighting Blush. I got this one in nude because everybody was talking about these when they first came out. This one's pretty enough, but I have so many other highlighters that I reach for that I can get rid of that one, I think. This is a Laura Geller Bronzer in Bronze and Brighten in Medium, which is super dark, but I want to play with it more. I'm going to hang on to that. And a blush in Pink Grapefruit, which is really pretty. I actually was tempted to buy the full size of this. I need to put that in my everyday drawer. This one I think I got in a giveaway or a swap or something. This is Pandora's Face in Pink Carnation. Mm, I think I'm gonna depot this and put it in my Z palette, not my Z palette, my Shea Moisture palette. All right, the rest of these I think I'm going to keep over here. So this is my Hard, hard Candy Highlighter in Tiki that I really like. The Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. So this is the um, Jaclyn Hill collaboration. I'm a big fan of that one. Mary Luminizer I like. I have this old Victoria's Secret one, which is like a pink color in All or Nothing, which is really pretty. It's very pink for sure. I don't know. I'll keep it for now. Um, this is my Wet n Wild Fergie powder. I'm going to start working on after I finish the current powder I'm working on. Um, this is a foundation powder in medium, which is actually really nice. This one, a lot of people have been raving about. This is the It Cosmetics Translucent Bye Bye Pores Powder. I need to use this more because a lot of people are raving about it, and that's why I got it in the first place, I think, but I don't really use it that often. And then this is a powder. It's just a yellow powder. Neutralizing. I don't know about that one. Um, but I at least got rid of... So from that group of things, I got rid of eight powders that I, or eight blushes that I haven't been using. This is a translucent, or finishing powder from Japanese that I got in a little kit. It's just kind of a sparkly translucent. So that's going to go over here. This I've actually been liking lately. This is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser that I've been liking. I have some foundations and things like that. I think I'm going to get rid of this Dr. Jart BB Beauty Balm, this like night one. It just doesn't make any sense to me and I think it's kind of a dumb idea. So I think I'm just going to get rid of that one. I'm probably never going to use it. I'm just going to toss it in my empties, I think. So I feel a little bit better about that. At least it's not quite as bad as it was. Then I have this um, City Color Intense Blush Quad. I should play with that more. These colors are really pretty. I'm going to keep that. I have this City Color Contour Effects which I actually really like. I need to play with that more as well. All right, I'm gonna call that section good. I have a bunch of samples over here that I need to work on, but I feel better about that. I don't feel like that's quite as overwhelming. Oh, um, I also have this NYX Ombre Blush. This one I just picked up. I really like it. I think it's kind of pretty, so that's where we're at for that. Really quickly, I'm going to go through, I have five Milani baked blushes as well, which I like, but I don't reach for all of them. So I'm going to go through those and see. I think I'm going to keep this one because I don't really have anything like it, even though I don't wear it that often. This is Bella Rosa, I think. Yeah, Bella Rosa. So I think I'm going to keep that one. This one, I don't remember what the name of this one is. I think it's like Delicioso Pink or something like that. It's a very bright pink. Um, I don't wear this one very often, so I think I'm going to get rid of that one. This one is Dulce Pink which is really, really sparkly. I think I'm gonna get rid of that one as well. I don't tend to reach for that one. This one is Berry Amore, which I like a little bit better than Dulce Pink. I'm gonna hang on to that one for now. I might get rid of that one at some point. Um, and then this one is Luminoso, which is the one that everybody talks about. I really like it. I haven't worn it in a long time. It's a very neutral color, um, but I think I'll keep that. 
All right, so that is it for my decluttering for now. So I got rid of 10 blushes in total and then a little BB cream I decided that I was gonna get rid of because I'm never gonna use it. Yeah, so I feel pretty good about that. I at least don't have as many that I'm not wearing. Um, Cause some of those I haven't worn in a really long time. So yeah, at some point I'll probably go through these again, but that's my declutter for now. Sorry if the lighting wasn't great. It's kind of an awkward position for me to film, but I hope you guys enjoyed this declutter. I would love to know if you guys are doing any declutters. Those are always fun for me to watch. And if you have any suggestions for video ideas, let me know that in the comments below because I just don't know what to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.